What up, big time gang? Pro Diver 52 millimeter. It's an Invicta watch. Needs a battery change. So what this video is going to be all about is the battery change on this watch. It's going to be very quick, very simple. This is a Japanese VD53 quartz movement, uh, quartz chronograph to be exact, zero jewel. Um, and this takes a Renata 371. You can use whatever brand you want. I prefer Renata. And that's what I use for, I say, 99.9% .9 of my quartz watches. So, the only time I use something else is when I cannot find a Renata in that what, uh, battery size. So, after the intro, we'll start changing this battery. All right, so first things first, the way I do things, everybody says take the bracelet off or take the strap off the watch. I don't do that. I remove the micro adjustment. This is not my watch. This is the homie Ben's watch. So it's on the last micro adjustment, and we'll make sure we put it back there when we're done. Push the pin in. Make sure you keep your finger over it so it doesn't fly away. And remove the spring bar that holds on the micro adjustment. Now... Simply grab your case back tool and line it up. Now I'm a little extra. The last watch I saw or did a battery change on was bigger than 52 millimeter. Now we're in the uh, two slots and we're going to turn left with applying downward pressure at the same time. Um, just an FYI, I washed this watch before I started to do the battery change because, uh, you know, um, this is not my watch. People that wear their watches often, they get gunk build up on them. And uh, the last thing you want is some kind of gunk, dead skin, whatever that could be going into the movement. So giving it a quick little bath is always a plus and a recommended preferred for sure. These are um, heavily worn watches. These aren't, you know, babied. So, um, you want to make sure you give it a nice little rinse before you actually open the back up. Now we're removing the plastic guard to get to the battery itself. Like so. Guard is off. Now you can see the battery in the battery cover. We are simply going to unhook one side of this battery cover. There we go. And now, simple as remove the battery. And there we go. Battery is out. Open up the new battery. And place it back in the watch. Now the clip's over it, we're good to go. Battery is reinstalled. Put the uh, plastic guard back on. Making sure you get that uh, cutout to go right around that crown stem, very important. Pop it into place, case back back on. Now I did not grease the gasket. Um, and normally I do not do that. I do have gasket grease. I have to locate it though because I don't even know where it's at. That is preferred. That is recommended. Um, I never do it. Not because it's a bad thing to do. I just don't do it. Um, I've never had an issue. And I've done hundreds of battery changes. So uh, if the gasket is tore up, stretched, or um, dry rotted, of course, I'm going to replace the gasket. Or I'm going to uh, just grease it if it's just a little dry. But this gasket looked 100% fine. So I didn't do anything to it. 
Now I'm just simply retightening up the uh, case back. That little poppy noise you hear is the uh, the two pins clicking into the back of the of the uh, grooves on the case back. Now you want to give it, you want to make it snug, but not you don't want to over tighten it. And like that, we should be done. Let's check it. Make sure it's ticking. Yes, it is. Now we're going to set the proper time. Today is the 31st. And it is 12.25. So as I'm rotating this, you can see the date's about to change. So we'll know we'll be in the AM setting. So we're going to go all the way back to 12.25. Now this is a, a gold pro diver, uh, 52 millimeter model number two, five, zero, seven, seven. And like I said, this has a VD 53 movement in it. And now we're going to change the date out one. And I believe it's towards us. Nope. It's away from us. We're going to go to the 31st. And there we have it. And now screw the crown back down and we're good to go. So there you go. Quick, easy battery change. All we got to do is put the micro adjustment pin back in, which is actually a piece of cake. We'll do that now. Slide the pin in. I, I hold a little pressure so it doesn't fall through. And I line up one side into the uh, hole. And then with a tiny amount of pressure, I'm holding it from popping out. And then I push down on it to uh, get it to go under the clasp and back into position. There we go. Now we're in, but we're in the wrong location. So I'm going to push it back one. What's going on with this? This spring pin's about had it, I think. There's way too much resistance. There we go. Okay. So now it's officially all sized up or all put back together. Not sized up. Battery is running. We're going to wrap the video up here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, have a great day. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, 90% watch content. We got some kicks in there. We've got some shades, some other products that I personally enjoy that I share with you guys. But for the most part, it's all about watches. Appreciate you tuning in. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.